It was a nice relaxing day at the Paw Patrol Command Center, and all of the pups were enjoying a nice slide. And they were having so much fun laughing and playing and enjoying themselves that they didn't even notice when a frantic monkey showed up right behind Chase and started to talk to him. When he finally got their attention, he began to tell them a story of his cousin, who was also a monkey, and he lived in the jungle not too far from here. Now his monkey cousin wasn't so friendly even though he had a nice cute smile and he started to kidnap all of the animals. And not only that, but he made him disappear. He made the kitty disappear. He made the sea turtles disappear. He made the penguins disappear. He made the sheep disappear. And he made the cow disappear. Well actually he couldn't get the cow through the door so he just made it fall over. Now the good monkey found out what his cousin was doing and he confronted him. But the evil cousin monkey wouldn't have it and he even tried to make him disappear. But when he turned the door, the good monkey ran away. And the good monkey knew he couldn't stay there so he ran to get help. Now when the good monkey finished telling the tale, the Paw Patrol decided they needed to help. Paw Patrol, we need to help this monkey and bring all of those kidnapped animals to safety. And they all headed out in their vehicles, chasing the police car and the monkey on his back, Marshall in his fire truck, Rubble followed Marshall in his bulldozer, and Rocky followed suit in his recycling truck. Next, Everest followed Rocky in her snowmobile. Finally, Zuma came along in his hovercraft. And of course, Sky took off in her helicopter. But when the Paw Patrol finally arrived at the Monkey Temple, there was no one there. They looked around, but they couldn't find the evil monkey or the animals anywhere. And while their backs were turned, the evil monkey showed up behind them and he started to attack. And attack he did. All of the Paw Patrol were knocked over. And not a single one were standing when he was finished. Now with all the Paw Patrol down, the evil monkey decided to kidnap them as well. And he first took Sky away. And he did the same thing with them. He took each Paw Patrol one by one and Rocky was next. And then he disappeared. Next Marshall was the one to be kidnapped. And before Marshall knew it, he was gone. Everest was also taken and she disappeared. Next he took Zuma and this was getting out of control. And Zuma disappeared. Now right as the evil monkey was making Zuma disappear, Chase woke up. He saw what was going on and he decided to sneak off quietly. He was lucky enough to find an elevator and he moved all the way up away from the evil monkey. And on this upper level of the secret lair, Chase made an astounding discovery. Chase found that the evil monkey had been spying on the Paw Patrol for some time now, and it was his plan to kidnap him. Chase saw each of the Paw Patrol symbols. The Chase symbol, Marshall, Sky, Rocky, Rubble, Zuma, Everest, and wait a minute, another symbol. He'd never seen this Paw Patrol one before. Next, Chase decided to sneak and look behind the temple to see if he could find anything, and he discovered the animals and the Paw Patrol. But just discovering them was the easy part. It looks like they had been put in cages. All the Paw Patrol were in one cage. And on the other side of the temple, all of the animals that were originally kidnapped were in the second cage. The sheep, the kitty, the sea turtle, and the penguin were all there. And as Chase lifted himself up, he thought, how was he going to save them? Meanwhile, the evil monkey came back and noticed Chase was gone. But he needed to take care of Rubble before he searched for Chase. And just like all the rest, Rubble had disappeared behind the temple. Now by the time Chase got back down, the evil monkey was missing again, and he didn't know what to do. Chase was ill-equipped to fight the monkey. Oh no, oh no, what am I gonna do? This monkey seems crazy, and all of the Paw Patrol have gone missing. Suddenly the evil monkey popped out of nowhere, looked Chase in the eye, and Chase knew that he was in trouble. But thankfully from the trees popped out a new pup. Chase had never even seen him before. This new pup quickly latched on a vine and slid down. And this new pup was surprised to see Chase and he said, Well hey there, my name's Tracker and I'll take care of this crazy monkey for you." And with that Tracker went over to the monkey and did a hi -ya, And the monkey had been defeated. And then Tracker went and he freed all of the caged animals. He freed the sheep. He freed the penguin, he freed the kitty, and last but not least, he even freed the sea turtles. And then he headed to free the Paw Patrol. Now once all the Paw Patrol had been freed, he noticed that these cages were empty. But where there's an empty cage, it must be filled, and he knew exactly what to do with it. 
Tracker took one of the cages and moved it into position. Then he grabbed the evil monkey, placed him on the second level, and sprung the trapdoor. And of course, the monkey fell through the trapdoor right into the cage. And thanks to Tracker, that monkey won't be doing any kidnapping or stealing or disappearing of any animals or Paw Patrol for a long time. Now of course, the Paw Patrol were super happy and thankful to Tracker. Tracker, thanks for saving all of us. Now you can become an honorary Paw Patrol member. Of course, that comes with duties like cleaning the command center toilets. Hey, thanks for watching. The toy featured in this video is the brand new Paw Patrol Jungle Rescue Monkey Temple. And the coolest part is it comes with the brand new Paw Patrol Tracker and his Tracker Mobile. So the Monkey Temple actually is the command center that transforms into the temple, but it has tons and tons of cool features. Here we have Chase looking at one of the screens. Here we have Sky up top here looking at the screen. We even have a monkey. And check out this at the bottom. We've got this monkey screen right here, and we even have an elevator. So let's check it out. So here's everything straight out of the box. There is some assembly required. Here's obviously the main main piece, the monkey temple. The good news is there's not a lot of assembly required. So we have to assemble this piece. This is the top of the monkey temple. We have this vine right here. This is pretty cool. Here we have our little monkey. I imagine he's gonna go down the vine here. There are some temple stairs right here that we get to assemble. And then we have this piece. This almost looks like a handle that we can use when we need to carry the playset from room to room. Here we have some pillars. And then last but not at least and even the best this is tracker right here this is a one-piece action figure we'll check him out later and then we have the tracker truck so here is the monkey temple fully assembled and there are tons and tons and tons of new features but first let's check out tracker he is the new paw patrol pup here he looks awesome first of all he's like a jungle green color it's a little bit different than Rocky's recycling green here, but let's check him out. So he has a full brim hat, just like, it's almost like he was uh, in the jungle or from down under. Let's check out his face. He has these huge ears right here. The ears actually extends through the, the brim of the hat. Here is the little silver Paw Patrol symbol there. Very happy looking dog. Now he's got this new symbol right here. It's like a compass. And this is his Paw Patrol symbol. Now this is just a figurine. It doesn't have any posable features. So the arms and the legs don't move. The head actually is able to twist back and forth just a little bit. There we go. Now on the bottom you can see he's got the four white feet. He's got a little tail. Of course he has a backpack. And then this thing is important. This looks like a whip but it is bent in this direction so that he can slide down the vine on this playset. And then let's check out Tracker's Jeep right here. This looks pretty cool, it's solid. Uh, it has four wheels, all of the wheels can actually turn, which allows it to roll across anything. Look at this, it can go up the temple stairs with ease. Now in this Jeep, this is where Tracker is gonna sit. Let's put him in there now. So Tracker can sit in there and go all throughout the jungle. Now this has jungle sort of a look all around it here, kind of a, a vines going around the, the paint of the car. Here we have the compass tracker symbol. We've got the Paw Patrol symbol on the hood of the car. This front is the grill here. Now on this side, it's a mirror image. Then we have, it looks like almost tools right there. So this is the tracker mobile, and this is what he uses to get around. Now let's first check out the bottom floor of the monkey temple. And first, I really like these stairs. It reminds me of stairs you'd see in Indiana Jones, if you've ever seen those movies. So we have tracker, he goes up the stairs and he looks around, seeing where should he go first. So let's first check out this little switch right here. You see this blue switch? Now if I switch it over, it actually turns these things around. So let's do that with a close up. Now the one on the right here, when I move the blue switch over, it turns it around and this 
turns into part of the command center area. Here is a TV screen. It looks like he's run into a crazy looking monkey on the TV screen. Here's some sort of amplitude wave here. So this is pretty fun. The Paw Patrol can look at the screen, determine what is going on, and then make the appropriate action. Now watch this. If we put Tracker on this little platform right here and move it around, he's going to disappear. Uh-oh, where did Tracker go? Let's see if he can come back. Oh, there he is. Now on the left-hand side of the monkey temple, we turn the switch again, and now we have a little tracker mobile. This looks like Rocky's recycling truck right here. This is also a camera that's showing, and then all sorts of buttons that are going to appropriate the Paw Patrol. Let's get Tracker back on here, move him around. There he goes, uh-oh, he disappeared again. And I especially like these masks here. These remind me of the Easter Island little rocks. And then we have, let's see, it has these eyes right here. Has this crazy nose, this mouth, the big ears. All right, let's see if Tracker is still there. Yep, there he is. He didn't disappear on us. Now the last feature on this bottom floor is this drawbridge right here. So you can see there's the Paw Patrol symbol, this red drawbridge. We can push it down and then it opens up to the back area we can see there. So what's going to happen is this is how Tracker is going to enter. We're going to put him in his little Jeep here and he enters through here. Da -da -da -da. Now we have Tracker and then Tracker is going to go down the stairs. To move from the first floor, base floor, to the second floor, we have Tracker right here. We can place him in this little green vine elevator and then we can push it up. And you can place any Paw Patrol member in here. Now, Tracker's on the second story. Now right next to the elevator on the right hand side, this is a cool thing. We have this huge snake right there. He's peeking his head right underneath there. There is the snake's head. Underneath you can see some bricks right here. Pretty cool detail. So we can take any Paw Patrol member and get them on the second story. Make sure they miss the snake, otherwise that snake might go a little crazy. And now Tracker can head down these stairs right here in this little main area of the second floor. But watch out, there's something pretty crazy here. If we press this green button, look what's gonna happen to Tracker. Oh no, it's a trap door. Let's try that one more time, just to see it work again. So you'd put the doors up, put Tracker right on here, or anything for that matter. Press the little button, and down he goes. Now this is a pretty cool looking statue here, or a mask, it's made out of rock, or made to look that way. Here we have all these bananas right there and this is a banana button so check out when we press it <laughs> So that's pretty cool when we press this button there, awesome sounds, the monkey sound, this mask sort of laughing, which is kind of crazy. But watch this other thing, we can twist this mask around and get another piece of the command center. Now check it out, this shows tons of Paw Patrol features. Here we have a map to this monkey temple, we have an elephant on this side, that huge snake on this side. Up top was one of five cameras, as it says right here, and this is the Paw Patrol Patroller. This holds all of the Paw Patrol vehicles on it. And then we have all of the Paw Patrol symbols of all of the known ones for right now. So we have Chase, Marshall, Sky, Rocky, Rubble, Zuma, Everest, and our new Paw Patrol Pup Tracker. And then there's the Paw Patrol symbols right there. And when we switch this around to this position, it actually makes different sounds when we press the banana button. And I don't know if you could see that, but these lights right here, these Paw Patrol symbols actually lit up when we pressed this banana button when this is turned around to this side. Now after Tracker is done looking at the main screen, he can go up onto the platform with the left here, and he has this vine that he can slide down. This acts almost as a zip line. So he can move all the way from the top to the bottom, and this is why he has this curved little whip right here on his back. So here we go, Tracker, number one. And he moves down, there we go, all the way down. 
And this is why we have the little monkey right here. The monkey also has a curved tail, so he can go down. All right, monkey number one. Nice job. Oh, the monkey fell off. Let's try the monkey one more time. Monkey trial number two. And oh, he did make it all the way down, but he tripped over Tracker. Now when you need to store this playset, it's pretty easy to take this vine out. So all you have to do is pull it from the bottom here, and it's not connected that well, so it's easy to pull it out and allow a little bit more area for this to store. Now at the very top of the playset, we can almost call it the third level, we have this pillar holding up this narrow passageway. We have this satellite dish right here so they can receive incoming transmissions. And Tracker is gonna walk along the pathway for us. It's gonna walk behind the ceremonial mask to this position. Now this looks like a huge, either a huge light or this could be some type of a huge speaker. And check out the detail on this pathway. We have a huge vine goat wrapping around. We also have another red pillar. So watch this, the vine wraps all the way around. That's pretty cool. We can even have our monkey hang on and hang on to this vine here. And just put his tail to hook around it. So the monkey can actually hang on any vine that is in this position. So we can even have the monkey hang on this position right down here, like this. Or it can hang on this loop that the vine makes right here. And now I'll quickly show you the back of the playset. Let me just turn this whole thing around. There we go. So the back of the playset, here are some of the features. This is the door that can open right here and we can drive tracker right through. Here are these little turntables that we can turn. There we go. And now we can see the little masks on this side, so let's turn around. Here is the speaker, the battery pack, if we need to replace the batteries to allow this sign to function properly. And then here's the back end side of everything. We can turn this screen around as well, see the mask, and we are done. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Toys of You Toys channel. Let me know in the comments if Tracker is your new favorite Paw Patrol member. And then click on a picture to watch another fun video or test your luck by clicking on the box to watch a surprise video. Have a great day.